Okay, so now we get to a rotation example. Now, this is a little bit more difficult than the uh, reflections and the translations, but we are going to start with the transformation rule example. So, uh, let's look at the question. Consider in the diagram below and plot A accent, B accent, C, and D accent the image of A, uh, which is negative 2, 2, B, which is 3, 4, C, and D according to the transformation rule and then they give us the transformation rule now what I'm going to do is I'm first going to just plot the points connect them in order and then we'll decide on what type of a rotation was it what was the angle of rotation so let's have a look so well it, we don't even know whether it is a rotation I know it's a rotation okay but let's have a look what would a accent be well how will we find it here we can see that what what happens to the old coordinate the object is the x and y get swapped around and the y value the y coordinate gets multiplied with a negative so negative 2 uh, the, the the y coordinate is 2 so it becomes negative 2 and it goes to the x position and the y position becomes the x coordinate okay then we have b accent so again they get swapped around so 4 3 Okay, but the y must be multiplied with a negative, so it's negative 4, 3. C, again, they get swapped around, so it's negative 4, negative 1. Okay, but the negative 4, okay, must be multiplied with a negative by the y is multiplied with a negative, so that becomes positive 4. And finally, the d image is negative 2, 3. Okay, when we swap it around, but the negative 2 gets multiplied with the positive. Okay, so let's go plot these points and see where that takes us. Okay, so we have A is negative 2, negative 2. So negative 2, negative there's There's my A coordinate. Okay, first of all, this used to be my old A coordinate. Let's first put that in. That used to be A. B is 3, 4, so that's B. C was negative 1, 4, so there's C. And then D must be this one. Okay, so now I've just plotted my A accent. Okay, let's look at B accent. Negative 4, 3. So negative 4 and positive 3. Okay, that is my B accent. Okay, then C is 4 and negative 1. C is 4 and negative 1. There's my C. And then D is, neg is positive 2 and 3. Positive 2 and 3. That's my D coordinate. Okay, can you see what's happened with A? So if we were to connect A with the x axis uh, sorry with the origin and a accent with the origin what angle do we notice here this is a 90 degree angle so this is 90 degrees rotation anti clockwise anti clockwise okay or a 270 if you want to do it clockwise it's the same as 270 degrees clockwise okay so let's just connect to to con complete our sketch we connect a accent with b accent so that gets connected okay then b with c let's see if i can do this this is a far line here we go b gets connected with c c gets connected with d <laughs> this is really difficult c gets connected with D and D gets connected with A. Okay, I have to air practice it a bit before I draw it in. Okay, now that looks terrible, but it <laughs> it it will be it will get full marks even if you do it this ugly in your taste. Okay, but um, yes, that is my 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation. And now, what do you notice with the 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation is that the x and the y swaps around. Okay. And the first coordinate gets the negative, in other words, the y. Okay, that's it. See you in the next example. There will be given the rotation, and uh, we have to go and plot it. But in order to do that, we'll first find the transformation rule, because you can see, once I have the transformation rule, the rest is really just simply uh, plotting the points and eventually uh, just drawing it in. Okay, see you in that example.